Good morning children. Welcome to the English class. We have already learned about the great Colonel Vasant Venugopal, who was an extraordinary hero who laid down his life for the country. So today we are going to learn about another unsung hero of our country, Captain Kishin Clifford Nongkrum, who was born in Shillong and served in the army and laid his life for the protection of our country. So all of you please take your English workbook and turn to page number 21. So this chapter depicts the biography of Captain Clifford. So let's read his story. We are proud of our heroes. One such hero from the Indian Army is Captain Kishin Clifford Nongrum, who gave his life for his motherland. He was born on 7 March 1975 to Kishin Peter and Sally Nongrum in Shillong. So our captain, Captain Clifford, was born in Shillong to his parents, Kishing Peter, that's his father, and his mother, Sally Nongrum. He was born in 1975 on the 7th of March. He studied in the Don Bosco Technical School and completed his higher education from St. Anthony's College. So he did his schooling from Don Bosco Technical School and he uh, completed his higher education from which college? St. Anthony's College. He then graduated from the Officers Training Academy, Chennai. So he completed his army training from the Officers Academy in Chennai. On the completion of his training, Captain Clifford Nongrum was commissioned into the 12th Battalion of the Jammu and Kashmir Light Infantry. So we know light infantry means a group of soldiers that use light weighted weapons or armory. So after the completion of his training, he was commissioned into the 12th battalion of the Jammu and Kashmir light infantry. Captain Nongrum was only 24 when the Kargil war broke out and his battalion which is 12 Jammu and Kashmir light infantry was posted at the Batalik sector. So, yeah, you might have heard about the Kargil War. It was between India and Pakistan and it happened between the months of May and July of 1999. So, India won the war and Captain Nongrum was one of the brave soldiers who were fighting in the war. During the war, he was serving in the Batalik sector of the Jammu and Kashmir Light Infantry. So Captain Clifford's unmatched valor and bravery enables the Indian Army to capture Point 4812 from the Pakistan Army in the famous Kargil War. So you can see the Point 4812, which is in Jammu and Kashmir. You can see the picture here. So this is the place which was captured by the Pakistan in 1998. So after the Kargil War, when India won the war, our Indians, our Indian soldiers recaptured this point from the Pakistan. So you can see the brave soldiers with the Indian flag. They are celebrating their victory in the war. It was indeed a fierce combat for the Indian army. Captain Clifford was not ready to give up. Ignoring his own safety, the brave soldier charged through the fire zone. Even though the enemy army was attacking a fierce battle. He was not ready to give up. He was even ready to give up his own life for the victory of the nation. So he never gave up and he charged through the fire zone. He took the enemy by surprise when he not only managed to throw grenades at the enemy bunkers but went on to snatch the universal position. So he fought from the front and he showed a model to his fellow soldiers. This gave his troops time to move forward and close in. Captain Nongrum was severely wounded but he refused to leave and fought bravely till he succumbed to his injuries on the night of 30th June 1999. Even though he was badly injured in the war, he was not ready to give up. He always fought from the front and this also helped his fellow soldiers to move forward in the battle. And on the 30th of June 1999, he finally sacrificed, he finally attained martyrdom, succumbing to his injuries. 
The sacrifice of this brave soldier resulted in the ultimate capture of 0.4812. For the conspicuous gallantry and supreme sacrifice, Captain Kishin Clifford Nongrum was honored posthumously with the Mahavir Chakra, India's second highest wartime gallantry award. So, after his martyrdom, 0.4812 was recaptured by the Indian Army from the Pakistan. Captain Clifford's martyrdom resulted in winning 0.4812 back from the Pakistan by the Indian Army. For the conspicuous gallantry, conspicuous means something which is clearly visible and gallantry means bravery. For his bravery and supreme sacrifice, he was awarded posthumously. Posthumously means after the death of someone. So after his death, for his bravery and sacrifice, he was awarded the Mahavir Chakra, India's second highest wartime gallantry award, which is the highest wartime gallantry award in India. It is the Parambir Chakra. And after the death, he was awarded Mahavir Chakra, which is the second highest wartime gallantry award in India. So children, you can read about many unsung heroes of India. You can do more research about them online with the help of your parents. I suggest you, you go through this biography again and again. And also please visit the website of the Indian Army like I had suggested you when we were learning about Colonel Vasant Venugopal. So children, please don't forget to read the story once again. We'll meet in the next class with the exercises from this chapter. So until then, bye.